what we're looking at today is the Tegra 2. This is the Tegra 250 development kit right from NVIDIA. It's got a bunch of features. They call it the system on the chip because our CPU here and graphics are all integrated. It's running right now. You don't need any kind of heat sink. It's fully loaded with some uh, USB ports, audio, got the LAN, the uh, SD reader. The USB port here is for uh, flashing onto the system. Plenty of uh, connections. You've got your VGA, HDMI, power of course, Wi-Fi, two mini PCIe slots, another USB port. We're all loaded up here with a bunch of um, NVIDIA specific ports for debugging various things, the battery connector. NVIDIA has still not released any kind of documentation or recommendations for an LCD screen, um, battery, or anything like that. You can also see your 3G spot as well for your SIM card. Now this system is set up and works with Android, Windows CE, and Linux. NVIDIA himself has not put out the Linux distribution yet, but a couple of the users have set up a version so you can run Linux. The only bad part is, as you see this USB stick sticking in here, we are flashing just the normal boot up files to the actual flash on board, and your root FS has to run off this USB, which makes it painfully slow. The onboard LAN works, that's why you see a cable plugged in there. The Wi Fi doesn't, although the HDMI does. By default, this is a, you can look up the specs online, but it comes with 1 gig of RAM, and it's got the uh, Cortex A9. So it's pretty pretty powerful, but the Linux, which right here I've got Ubuntu up, it's painful, as I said, because you're running off that USB stick. But here you can see our our CPU info. Unfortunately, we still got to work to get the uh, whole dual core thing going. But the mem info we're showing only 512 megabytes of RAM. I know a couple guys in the user forum. Have hooked up like uh, I think it was 648 megs, but uh, I have not done that myself. This t display it's on is only 720p. It is capable. The Tegra is capable of 1080, but still looks pretty clear and pretty cool. I'd show you some other cool stuff, but like I said, maneuvering around here is is horrible. But that's the new Tegra 2, supposedly the wave of the mobile future. Hopefully, Nvidia will get their act together and give us developers some options to test out more things.